Radio check, over. Hey, good morning, good morning. This is the uh, beginnings of a fuel system supply point. We've got uh, berms built here that are going to have uh, containment for fuel bags. There'll be pumps and hoses all over the place in a couple days. Uh, they'll pick up fuel from DLA, they'll bring it over here, and we'll offload it into these bags. And then we'll store the bags, test the fuel, uh, make sure it's good. And then after a couple days, we'll push it back out to another DLA customer. For the rest of the exercise, I believe we are going to be setting up our F SSP. We've got a six bag system we're going to be putting up. I believe for this exercise, we're going to have 70,000 yep. gallons of fuel. Get finished with this, we'll probably drag it over a little to scoot it closer into our sleeping area. And then we'll probably get the poles and start standing it up. We've got the beginnings of our battalion talk. Tents for each staff section inside. Uh, where you can access them from the outside as well. And then on the inside in the middle, we'll have a little uh, collaboration area where we can come together as a staff and, and work through some problem solving, some MDMP, all that kind of stuff. Uh, we have our expandable van here for our SPO. They run a lot of the tracking for our water, any of those other laundry, shower operations, that type of thing. Staff Sergeant Daniel Leone, 92 Whiskey, Water Operations NCO. Yeah, not a problem. So what we currently have going on is that that pump right there is essentially pumping the water. It's going into this bag. This bag is now gravity feeding into these bags. When we are ready to operate, we're gonna be able to draw from these bags into that um, equipment. Specialist Andrea Aguilar, Chemical, Biological, Radiological, Nuclear Specialist at the 968. This right here is a TWIPS machine. This is a, this is a water purification machine. We checked the water that was coming out of the, the rope view. The ultimate goal is to make sure that the reverse osmosis that happens in the rope view can perform and be able to have potable water. I am PSC Karina Pedroza. I'm a 92 Sierra at 263rd Quartermaster. This is our LAS. It stands for a Laundry Investment advanced system and these two are both considered drums. This is drum A and this one's drum B. It's considered a washer and a dryer. It will wash for like 30 to 40 minutes and then it will go through a drying cycle which is like 10 to 20 minutes. The turnaround time is two hours. Each lad can carry 200 of those laundry bags so in total we can carry 600. So right here, that's the um, heater, and right next to them where they just sat down is the water pump for the showers. So that is what, where we get our warm water, which takes the water from the blivet and makes it warm, and then that is how we get the water to run through the showers. This is the flooring we set so the soldiers don't have to step on the dirt. Um, our S6 will have their, their tent with all their, their cool network gear and all that stuff that'll uh, link up to the signal company we got over here. I am First Lieutenant David Yunus from the Four Fort Signal Company. We are out here for the QLX 21 exercise providing uh, TACnet services, which is uh, tactical internet. We're going to drop it as close to the STT as possible in the containment. It doesn't have to be center, but we're going to drop it, you know. We have a STT uh, satellite transportable terminal, and we are we're moving our generator next to it because uh, we're running 24 hour ops. I want it as close to the STT as possible. Yeah. That's good right there, yeah, that's all we're done. Okay, so right now we have our bulldozer le uh, leveling out the ground so we can set up the liner in the back. Right now the soldiers are unfolding a liner for the next berm. For the next berm? Yes, sir. So let's walk over there. Yes, sir. You'll put the 20,000 gallon bag inside the berm. Once we get the, the fourth dirt wall up, the liner will go over that dirt wall and that will complete the containment system. And then at some point tomorrow, we'll push 20,000 gallons into that bag. We have a FSSP set up. At this point, we're receiving fuel, bulk fuel. The first truck, we had the Lemus come out and test the fuel. Once we got the go ahead and the approval that the fuel is good, we then start doing our job, 92 Fox, start opening valves. We got turned 
uh, gate valves, the pump. Yeah. So our first valve is valved all the way in. And then we just check for leaks. If we see anything, we say something. Our pump operators are watching the RPMs, the volts, the fuel. If anything starts going wrong, they're gonna let everybody know. He's gonna let us know when it starts getting low. And whenever you're on top of a tanker, you don't want to have any loose items and stuff. You don't want nothing dangling over that main hole. Okay. If the Lima's, they hook up right there periodically to test the fuel to make sure our filters are doing everything properly. Down there in the pit, those are our fuel gaugers. Okay. So when the fuel starts rising in it, they got a stick that they measure the string with to let us know how much fuel is in it. Um, we're trying to get our samples from the trucks. It's Selena Diaz with 306 Quartermaster Company. I'm a petroleum laboratory specialist. But once we get them inside the lab, we come here, the first thing we do is uh, our API gravity, which is gonna be this. Gets our density, API, the temperature. It's testing right now. But uh, once we get the sample, uh, we come in here and we start running um, the dis different types of tests. Uh, distillation would be this machine. Uh, PC would be this machine. Uh, our flash point would be this one. Um, our density is this one. And then our freeze point, it should have this tag filled out. Sir, it's a pleasure. Hey, nice to meet pleasure. you. Hey, how you doing, LT? Good, sir, how you doing? Steve Pazak, nice to meet you. I mean, you can't get any better than this. I mean, this Correct, is sir. getting out safely, getting out to be able to do the mission. Tell them where you're from and what you do on the civilian side. Because remember, Sergeant Major of the Army, this is my squad. Who I am, my buddies, my family, my civilian employer. Because reservists are a little bit special. we got to play into that, too. So it's really that diamond, right? Yes, sir. And so continue to you know talk that. This is Colonel Steve Pazak, commander of the 90th Sustainment Brigade, out here at Camp Pendleton, California, visiting Team Exxon. They're out here fueling the fight as we put fuel into bags right now for the first time at the Quartermaster Liquid Logistics 2021 exercise. It's a larger nationwide exercise and these units out here are fueling the fight for Marine Corps and Navy equipment in Southern California. They're doing they are taking care of the Southeast, they got Fort Pickett taking care of the North, Northeast, and then their headquarters is at Fort Hood. I'm PFC Hannah Romero. And I'm PFC Haven Wilkerson. And we're petroleum supply specialists in the 1002nd Quartermaster Company. <laughs> very, hot. very hot. Very <laughs> hot. <laughs> Ridiculously hot. So We've been running pipeline. We had to set up all the pipeline all around here. Yeah. So what happens? You have to do one section at a time in order to get it perfectly. Make sure these are tight and sealed. We have, those are couplings. We have coupling teams. So yeah, a pig. pig earplug looks like and we it's a scraper but we call it a pig because whenever it goes through the pipes it like makes the pig sound so whenever the, the pig receives it goes to this this valve we have to be closed that one open this one open and the pig will go through that and that red flag would look up oh i'm so proud of these two they did a great job and they've been doing really hard work out here and i'm uh, super excited to be part of this company and we've had a great exercise so far. All right, wave to the camera. Our Sergeant Desmond Faison, culinary NCO, 13th DSC. It's referred to as the victory meal. But uh, basically the meal is real simple. It's eggs, uh, steak, and, uh, and hash browns. And this is just a hearty meal, you know, feeds the soldiers, fills them up, getting them fuel for the day, and uh, ready to accomplish their mission. And then they have an option of fresh fruit, water, uh, apple juice, orange juice, grape juice, milk. I think it's extremely vital. I mean, yeah. if I have a hot, a good breakfast, a meaty breakfast, you know, I, I feel better. I feel ready to go. I have energy to burn, knowing that I ate something, you know. Plus, this is a this is more of a morale boost because then they, you know, they can sit and socialize with their peers and, um, you know, talk about what they got going on for the day or what they had going on for the day prior. So I'd say our. Um, our being here is extremely vital.